morning everyone, Firefly404 here, Andrew, and I'm just on my way to the Toronto Zoo to uh, get some video of the pandas. However, on my way there, there were a couple of things I wanted to talk about. First off, I'll state right up front. While I think that creationists in general and their anti-science bullshit in particular, and the anti-vaccination crowd, are definitely more damaging to society as a whole, in my opinion. The most willfully ignorant people I have ever had the displeasure of interacting with online are the whole ancient aliens crowd. I mean, that video I released of me watching that stupid, stupid human history video I'm still getting comments on that thing. And they're all really, really stupid comments. Ugh. Just complete willful ignorance on their part. It's just mind boggling how much the disrespect they're showing for our ancestors who lived 4,000 to 10,000 years ago and built things like the Great Pyramids. These were not stupid people. They didn't, just because they didn't have technology, they could do quite a bit with what they had. By technology, I mean our modern technology, like the cars that I'm driving right now. And yes, we do have a very good idea of how they built the pyramids. All you have to do is look at the pyramids and the per and their progression from, I believe it's the south of Egypt to the north of Egypt, and you can actually see how they were experimenting with the pyramids as they built them. So it's just mind-boggling to me that they want to disrespect the achievements of their own species. Uh. And the second thing I wanted to talk about on Tuesday, oh, sorry, Thursday. Gary, that's Phony Beetle Maniac XX, or formerly Bossman 103, directed me to a Google Hangout that was being hosted by Bruce Shepard, and it had Bruce, Rand Campbell, Iron Cross, I believe, was there. I think they were probably raw. Um. Wow, guys. <laughs> Especially Rand Campbell. Now, Rand, you mentioned a couple of points and I wanted to address them. Both had to do with homosexuality. The first point was, I believe you were questioning V8 Redline. The two points you brought up were essentially show me the genes for homosexuality and why don't we see heterosexuals have trouble coming out with their heterosexuality? I'm going to address the second point first. We do see heterosexuals have trouble coming to terms with their heterosexuality. It's called puberty. I mean, is that really beyond your understanding to comprehend? But 
before puberty and even in the early stages of puberty, boys and girls tend to have different reactions to the opposite sex than during and after puberty. And during that transition phase, they tend to have a lot of trouble expressing themselves. <laughs> now as for the sec first point about show me the genes, our development is not 100% determined by our genes. Hormones, what we eat, all this stuff feeds into it. There's a little field called epigenetics that they're currently investigating at, and it's suspected, I believe the current leading theory that is, hypothesis is, if you will, is that there is something happening in the ep realm of epigenetics that uh, determines heterosexuality, homosexuality. But even then, your claim that it's not natural would still be completely bunk. You do realize that human beings are not the only animal that experiences homosexuality homosexual behavior. It's not even limited to just mammals. <sighs> Talk to you later, everybody.